tools I found useful in this uh, install. Coffee. Uh, needle nose. Cutters. Electrical tape. 8 millimeter socket. Deep socket. Uh, 2.5 millimeter uh, Allen wrench. And I believe there's another Allen wrench that I used out of this set. Uh, 8 uh, inch tie wraps and a small flathead screwdriver. Use the two and a half millimeter Allen wrench to loosen the handle. Use the small headed, flat headed screwdriver to pop the end cap. Save this end cap because it's uh, nice to have uh, at the uh, conclusion to put back on. Remove the grip. Note the end of the grip has a l ring that may come off. Uh, just don't lose it so you can put it back on at the end. Now let's loosen the brake handle using a 4 millimeter. Use a two millimeter Allen to remove or to loosen your control buttons. Okay, now we're ready to install the handle. Don't forget to put the plastic end cap back on. To install the front light, you will need a 10 millimeter and a 5 millimeter. It installs on the fork, uh, pretty simple. Okay, now for the rear light, before you install it, it's a good idea to take one of your tie wraps and put it in this small hole and bring it out the top hole. You'll, you'll be using this later, so just go ahead and put it in place and then install the rear light. Okay, I installed the light on the bracket first, and the reason I do this is because you, the light goes a little bit up like that. Okay, the nuts on this and on the bracket are 8 millimeters, so this is where the 8 millimeter wrench or socket comes into play. Your bolts may be stainless steel or they may be black. Uh, I guess it just depends on the bike. My other bike came up with stainless steel. And these are black. Okay, this is a three millimeter Allen on this. Uh, 
Okay, now you want to find the wiring harness that has the Y connector in it, which goes in the middle. You'll note that on the other ends of this, there's one female and one male connector. The female goes to the male connector on the handlebars. And now might be a good time to install this because we're going to turn the bike, um, we're going to lay the bike on its side so we can get to the bottom and deal with the wiring at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead, find the little notch that's in there and the notch that's in the, the uh, male and connect these puppies up. Okay. All right. Okay, now it's time to put the bike on its side so you can get to the wiring on the bottom. Uh, you can either put it on its side or I found another way was I tied a rope to my balcony and lifted it by the front wheel, which uh, actually works maybe a little better than putting it on its side. Um, my bike stand uh, does not work with these fat uh, poles, so it's pretty much worthless with an e-bike. Um, this right here you're going to find is the connector for the front lamp. Uh, it's wrapped back in this uh, uh, wiring harness, and all you need to do is take off the tie wraps and the plastic uh, wraps on the cables and uh, get that out so that you can use that for the front lamp. You're going to want to pull off all this uh, uh, wrap uh, so that you can uh, add the new harness to the, the existing wires. Uh, now, the one that I found most difficult was this guy. Uh, it, they either stuff it down here in this place, which is great if they do. If they don't, they stuff it back up in the hole, and it may be difficult to pull out. Um, the tool that I found worked great for getting this out of the hole was a uh, coat hanger with a little hook in the end of it so that I could hook the wire and pull it out. Uh, be careful, but uh, it is a female, so you won't damage any pins in the connector, but you still don't want to damage any wiring or anything else. So make sure that you got it out um, so that you can connect the main wiring cable to it. Okay, now that I've removed these uh, cable uh, coverings and found the front light harness connector and the rear light harness connector, uh, I can probably put the bike back on its kickstand and go from there. Uh, last time what I did was I had it uh, hanging so that I could access it easily, but I think even on the kickstand it'll be fine. So I'm going to put it back upright. Okay, now it's time to start putting the cables back together. Um, you can use the electrical tape or the tie wraps or uh, what I like to do is use both. So what I'll do is first tape it to get the wire bundles together. And then I'll tie, put a tie wrap over that. Now we can put the, uh, the housing over the wire at this point, or if you want to add another tie wrap or cable anywhere, that you're welcome to. I think we got enough because the wire housing works pretty good.
make sure that you put your wire in. Uh, I like to wrap it around once just so that it fits, it forms with the other wires. Okay, now before you continue, don't forget to connect your headlamp. Um, I found it's probably easier to put this harness uh, covering on before you put these this covering back on. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. Also, you want to leave enough play so that when you turn you're not gonna uh, hurt you're not gonna stress the wires so just make sure it has as much play as the other wires do this tie wrap will hold it in place okay Nice. Okay, let's get this front housing on. I think what I'm going to do to start with is put a little electrical tape on the light wire so that it doesn't get out of the housing. So I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to put the front housing on. Uh, you know how to do this so I won't video it. Okay, I got the housing in place. Now I'm going to cut my tie wraps and work on the tail light. Okay, connect the harness to the harness bundle. Again, it's keyed, so find the key. And once you have this connected, I found that if you can push it back up into the hole, to get it out of the way if you can it's kind of a tight fit but it will fit up in there and that'll get it out of the way connect this to the back um, I think what I'll do is put a tie wrap on right here Okay, um, I'm back to the hub here. Now, I was a little generous with tie wraps for the sole reason because you have a shock here. So this frame is going to be flexing on this uh, piece here. So uh, be generous with your tie wraps or electrical tape or however you want to fasten this. Also, this has another one of those funky clips and since I'm going to be running two wires and I want a better thing I'm going to remove this clip and put another tie wrap right here. Alright, time for the finishing touch. Now as you can see we've got a little excess here. So what I've just learned is that we can take this and put it inside this tie wrap we placed here and turn it back So we're going to use this tie wrap to hold this wire in place. Turn the key on. Turn the computer on. Brake light. Got a brake light. Turn indicators. It's difficult to see in the light, but they're on. They both work. Okay. 
in the front. The front light has got a button. So you turn the button on, the light goes on. It also has a horn button, which is on the turn indicator. And that's all there is to it. Enjoy your ride.